name is Penny and welcome back to Gaming News. Seeing as today is April Fool's Day, I thought it was only right to celebrate the very best of the fake gaming news. April Fool's! It's actually April 2nd! But I'm gonna do the April Fool's thing anyway. I also thought it would be kind of fun to give each little prank a score out of 10, which is not something I normally do even for gaming reviews, but I figured it was fun and it's April Fool's Day so I can do what I want, that's, that's what it means. My first piece of April Fool's Day news today comes from Deadpool the Game, which we are all highly anticipating. In this trailer we get our very first sneak peek of the gameplay. I except we obviously don't because it's April Fool's Day. Instead what we get is Deadpool making some pancakes! Yay! I'm giving the Deadpool April Fool's Day joke a 4 out of 10 because at 37 seconds the trailer was way too short for my liking. Also, considering it's April Fool's Day and jokes are supposed to be funny, I actually found this less funny than the normal Deadpool stuff. Our next piece of April Fool's Day news comes from That Game Company, the team behind Journey, who announced the game's first DLC, Rocket Deathmatch. I actually really like this April Fool's Day joke because it obviously takes Journey in the complete opposite direction and does something ridiculous for the game's standards, but it does it in a really interesting trailer and makes it actually look kind of fun. Not to sound stupid, but if the Rocket Deathmatch DLC was a real thing, I'd probably try it out. And for that reason, I give the Journey April Fool's Day joke a 7 out of 10. Toshiba announced the Shiba Sphere, their brand new, very connect like console, featuring launch titles such as Patriarch 2013, Pet the Dog, Let's Travel, and more. While I totally appreciated the very obvious dig at the wave of motion controlled games that have been releasing in the industry for the last few years, I didn't find this one quite as exciting because while I was watching the trailer, I was kind of processing the thought and realizing that. Maybe not with the exact same titles, but with a few tweaks, this could very easily be a real console that would sell. So for that reason, I give the Shiba Sphere a 5 out of 10 for April Fool's Day. After teasing the title Deus Ex Human Defiance, Eidos Montreal announced that the next title in the Deus Ex series would be looking into the future, and in order to do this, they'd be looking into the past to create an 8-bit Deus Ex game. Some cute little gameplay scenes were shown, and some discussion and justification behind the choice was actually discussed on screen. They also showed that their boss and marketing departments didn't take too kindly to the idea, and therefore the project would be crowdfunded, which was an interesting touch. Not to mention, the team also managed to throw in a little joke about forced co-op. All of that being said, the Deus Ex April Fool's Day prank gets a 9 out of 10 from me. Sega announced that their older and favourite titles would be receiving some HD and 3D surround sound remakes, only to actually show the trailer with something using GOAT processing. I don't really understand if this is an inside joke or what it is about GOATs, but this was actually one of the only trailers or one of the pieces of news that made me laugh on April Fool's Day, so for that reason I give the Sega GOAT processing thing a 9 out of 10. Finally, my very favourite piece of April Fool's Day gaming news came to us from Ghost Recon Online. A trailer was released showing off the game's brand new online mode, Dance Recon Revolution. I like this one because it starts out like a serious Ghost Recon trailer, but then about halfway through everyone just kind of starts dancing out of nowhere, and there's no sort of further explanation offered apart from Dance Recon Revolution, and at the very end they finish off with a Happy April Fool's Day. Thinking about it further, I'd probably end up playing this one too. Love me some Dance Dance Revolution. I also liked how they finished off with that April Fool's Day reminder. As one of the more naive people in the world, sometimes I need to be reminded that it's April 1st and that none of these things are real. So for all of those reasons, I give the Dance Recon Revolution trailer a 10 out of 10 for April Fool's Day. Thank you guys so much for watching my roundup of my favourite April Fool's Day gaming news. If you have any favourites that I did mention or didn't mention, please feel free to go ahead and leave them in the comments section. If you are here for actual gaming news, I do apologise, and as a token of how sorry I am, I share with you a leaked Thief 4 trailer, as well as the trailer for Pokenite 2 from Telltale Games. If you would like to view those trailers in full, go ahead and click on the little thumbnails here and they'll take you to the full trailers. But otherwise, thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another gaming video. Bye!